In this experiment, we will see how propagation of sound gets impacted by the density of air around it. For this, we will need a sound hacker model setup and a 9 volt battery. This ready made model is provided as part of the ILP science kit and cannot be built in an effective way without the use of specialized equipment to remove the air from inside the syringe. The air from inside the syringe has been removed and the syringe has been sealed at the nozzle making it an airtight system. The sound hacker consists of an electric buzzer that has been fixed inside a syringe. Its leads are connected to a 9 volt battery snap through the nozzle of the syringe. To conduct the experiment, connect the 9 volt battery to the battery snap. The buzzer immediately starts buzzing. Now, pull the plunger outward slowly and observe if there is any change in the volume of the buzzer. Caution! Do not pull the plunger out of the syringe completely as this will damage the air tightness of the setup and the setup will no longer function. As you pull the plunger out, the volume of the syringe cylinder increases. However, air from outside cannot enter as the nozzle has been sealed and the system is airtight. The air inside becomes less dense with this increase in volume. As the plunger is pulled out more and more, the air inside becomes less and less dense. As less air is available around the buzzer for the sound to travel, the sound coming out of the syringe cylinder becomes lower and harder to hear. This shows that sound waves need a medium to travel and propagate. The feeble buzzer sound you are able to hear is the sound traveling through the items surrounding the buzzer, such as the wire, the plastic body of the syringe, etc.